Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. Legitimately was worried I was gonna go into that room there. Last time, we arrived in Shy Guy's Toy Box, the hideout of the Mischief Makers. Now, you can use the switch in the front of the station to change, choose to change direction. Just let me know when you're decided on a direction you wanna go, okay? All aboard! We would like to go to Pink Station. We're leaving, all aboard! Love trains as a kid so much. I want you to watch the scenery closely here. All those triangles that are different colors. If you zoom out, you can appreciate these rooms were designed to be rainbow colored, but unless you're paying close attention to the background and kind of building a picture in your mind's eye, it's not easily appreciated. So wanted to let you kind of put that together in your mind and then tell you the solution afterward. Station stop, pink station. Welcome to pink station, passengers. I want to keep going until I get star pieces. No, that track is broken, so we can't very well go that way. There's a treasure chest over that way, so following my own rule, I'm pretty sure that, no. Gonna have to do some butt dowsing. That, <laughs> wait, that pink toad conductor, he just looks wonderful and happy. <laughs> Some shy guys just ran off of the way of the frying pan! Ooh, I just bet he stole it from some innocent soul. And you know he doesn't really want to cook anything with it. Shy guys are so obnoxious. <laughs> I love this guy. Well, that's definitely the final boss of this whole entire game. Got the mailbag, a bag of letters, return it to the post office. So you're saying that our whole structure is go into Shy Guy's toy box, get a thing that's been stolen, bring it back, and there's your lot. It is kind of a backtrack heavy chapter, and some people don't like that, but personally, I don't think it's really bad backtracking, it's quick enough. And on top of that, it is a pretty ingenious way of getting another chapter out of this game, is we do turn Toad 10 into essentially its own area. Oh God, all right. Uh, I don't have quick change on. I don't have quick change on. I don't have quick change on. Let's open with Dizzy Dial and hope that buys us some time to be able to get these tattles in because I'm falling behind on them and I don't want to keep it. Oh, I got him wobbling back and forth. He's weak to it too. That's really cute. There's that. Tattle him up. This is Spy Guy, good name. Spy Guys look like they're ready for war in their spiffy camouflage gear. Max HP seven, attack power two, defense power zero. They change their weapons each time they're attacked. You'd best try and avoid their hammer attack. Every time you hit by it, you'll lose one of your commands. This is the only status that is not guarded against by the badge feeling fine. So it's not a good idea to do that. It's also not a good idea to miss your action commands, that too. Let's have you tattle Medi Guy. Many guys are the emergency workers of the Shy Guy clan. Max HP seven, attack power one, defense power zero. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course, they also attack. We'd better hurry up and take him out of the mix. It's a pain if they keep fixing all the damage we do. It's also a pain if he's not dizzy, but that's not about to happen. So I ain't worried. Smack him around. He had that slingshot attack you saw and then a hammer, which is more of a melee attack. I can definitely take you out on my own. I don't have any reason to focus this turn. Gubario can't take you out, so we'll just make it simple and bop you on the head and then deliver a boot to your cranium. Getting close to that level up. Not sure what I'm gonna go for. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Like I was gonna leave behind any one of those collectibles, but still take the others. Come on, you know me. Keep going down the tracks and uh, hello. That's Gourmet Guy. Wow! He's huge! Does this guy ever stop eating? It looks like he'll eat until his stomach blew up. <laughs> and then stayed inside of his epidermis. Oh! Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary food loving shy guy. <sighs> I'm hungry. Well, don't eat me. Let's give you a super soda. He ate the whole can! That's the worst tasting food I've ever eaten. My delicapolid is too refined to eat this stuff. I can only eat food of the finest quality or I might gag. I'd rather starve than eat such inferior food as this. Yes, excuse you. What did you think this was, the Four Seasons? Well, we can't make any progress that way toward our true enemy. 
So back we go. Back the other way. Hey, it's you again. I remember thinking some boss was gonna use the Thunder Rage on us my first time. Nah, they just plop it on the ground. Gonna get you tattled. Yes, got the first strike. Oh, he was crying a little bit. Just the way I like him. A little moistened up before I kill him. Tattle him up. This is Sky Guy. <laughs> Sky Guys are master balloonists. Good names here. Max HP 7, attack power 3, defense power 0. We can attack the balloon too. Once they fall, they're just like normal Shy Guys. Wish I had a balloon so I could float. That looks awesome. They never did give us a Paragoomba partner. How sad. We'll open with Lullaby. The lesson here is that it's illegal to fire slingshots unless you're floating with balloons. See what happens. The regular guy was the only one it didn't affect. It's just like those things like where the weakest character is always the one unaffected by the bad guy's psychokinesis or whatever. I want you gone. That guy ducking inside of his thing to sleep is really cute. <laughs> uh, I am always easily impressed. It's just who I am. I accept this about myself. You focus. Ah. So solemn. Back our star power almost instantly and finish him off. I think we got some other new badges to see. Doing a lot of fighting. Sounds like a good opportunity. Oh! Oh! Why'd you make it stop? Okay, yeah, now you're out of your misery. Lots of coins making up for all those badges that we purchased. Speaking of which, time to equip some. Oh, I already have one of them on. Yeah, I don't need to equip crap. I think I've been pretty diligent, actually. Whoa, here we go. Come here, you! There's that. And you give me Defend Plus! A one-of-a-kind badge. Boost Mario's defense by one. For now, I'll take off a Power Plus and I'll toss that on. It's six badge points, same as a Power Plus. Defensive badges can certainly have their benefits, and that being a solid plus one defense across the board is pretty solid. Could stack with damage dodge to give you minus two damage in some situations, assuming that you know the guard timing. It has a lot of legitimate benefits. However, as I have said, uh, you know what? Uh, defense is great, but you know what's even better? Bro, just win. <laughs> Sometimes it is better to just win a fight. Mario's turn comes around first. Oftentimes going for offense means you'll just win before you take damage, but sometimes you can't do that, and defense is good in those situations. Get ice power, increases attack power against fire enemies by two. It's piling up, gonna be some fun battles ahead with all these things we're getting. That was easy. Like I said, just win, my first strike was enough. And from that we get the frying pan! Oh, we saw a red shy guy back over this way! You're the culprit who made off with the thing! Oh, it's on, it's so on. It's one of you, I don't know which. I'm gonna say it's you. I am going to kill you in the most violent way possible! You will learn. How dare you make taste team feel bad? Why are there three of you now? It was you! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. I'm going all out. How would you like a bolt from a guard? Never mess with the one who prepares my food ever again. How dare you? It is with this hand that I murder your... Uh, chances of getting a first strike. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We can move on. I no longer do enough damage thanks to Defend Plus to be able to kill this guy in one hit, so perhaps not the best option. I'm one star point away from leveling up. Not exactly striking fear into the hearts of my opponent. Let's just go back to Toad Town. All is right in the world. Or at least it will be when I see her smile again. As a kid, I didn't like this chapter very much. Having to go back to Blue Station in order to go back to Toad Town and there not just being a spring in every station or whatever, and having to go through this cutscene. But it becomes so much more bearable when you know that the B button just skips train cutscenes as a whole. Same thing that applied in chapter two applies here, and it makes it so much better. I wanna say while we're out here, we could go all over the world and get every single hidden panel that we have missed up to this point, but it's not necessary. We'll go and do it later. I'm not exactly in the market for more badges. Oh, 
Oh, hello there, hon. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dear old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. The fact that you can be making puns in a situation as dire as this. You are our hero, Tasty, and I say that on behalf of everyone watching this video right now. Oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan. You saved it from the Shy Guys. Thank you so much, Mario. For that, I'm going to make you something extra special. Tra la 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 la. Here's the cake. A tasty cake baked, baked by Taste Tea restores 15 FP. This is my most delicious cake. One taste of it won my late darling's heart. I swore I would never make it again, but you're very special, Mario. Just one bite will make anybody go gaga. So the old master of the dojo has passed away and was her husband. That's so sad. This cake is a good recovery item, but that's not exactly why we want it. We can always make it again any old time by cooking with uh, cooking with the cake mix that we have picked up. Ha! That pebble just plunked right off of me. Awesome! Three star points! Yee! Gonna take 30 badge points. That's the most that we will ever have. I'm kind of sad that it hasn't happened, but a cute thing about Spy Guys is they drop pebbles because they need them for their slingshot. It's a really cute item for them to drop. A pebble is a gag item that does one damage to an enemy. It's widely considered one of the worst items in the game. I'm too hungry to move. I'm famished. I must eat. I need a sweet, sweet cake. Sweet cake with frosting and cookie crumbles. Just asking for it all. Let's give it to you. Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh! Delicious! This is lip smacking good! Now I'm gonna do something a little weird for this cutscene. I'm gonna zoom out. Yum! He actually poops out the cookbook. <laughs> A, a book gourmet guy drop, no, a book that is gourmet guy's droppings. Show it to a good cook. We'll be sure to do that pretty soon, as that is immensely worth our time. But mainly what I want to do is go over this away. And hey, a new enemy right off the bat. Okay, um. Uh, I'll fight another one of you in a second. Instead, we're gonna go for spin smash. Spin smash! Oh, I was holding left, and that didn't ta- Damn it! We'll just do out of sight and try again. <laughs> As I was saying, spin smash! It is a regular hammer attack with plus one damage to all grounded enemies behind the target. Outclassed completely and utterly by Quake Hammer. Why do one damage to a group on the ground when you could legit spread damage with multiple other badges? Even if Quake Hammer is not affected by upgrades, still, it's better than one damage. That guy does three da- oh no, a, uh, I think four damage actually, because we have Defend Plus on right now. This is what we call a time for Star Storm. <laughs> This battle is awkward. I'm not able to really do much. I'm not making headway because they keep calling for help. You just do it. Swapped around my badges slightly. Nothing too terribly exciting. Still not really a good opportunity to show jump charge. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. I did say there were a lot of hidden blocks. Yes, dizzy dial, perfect. And in this room, the court jester is there. I do have quick change on. Don't gotta worry about my partners. I'm overcomplicating this just for a strike them half the time, man. Oh yeah, there's targeting the balloons to turn them into a regular shy guy. Thank you for joining the rest of the class. If you could bring something valuable to the conversation, that would be even better. All those flowers, I know it's coming up because I saw a preview of what was coming. Oh, no, 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 get under the block and hit it as much as you can, Mario. We've been through this. 
I know they always say that he uses his fist to break the blocks and not his head, but it sure looks like he's using his head in this game because his fist doesn't re- Whoa! It's almost like you're in another state of matter or something. It moved out of so freaking fast, I couldn't react to it. Tell us about the pyro guy. This is a pyro guy. They're on fire, so contact with them, any contact with them will cause damage. Max HP seven, attack power four, defense power zero. They're tough opponents, mainly because their attack power is so high. Any attacks that involve water or snow are your best bet because, well, you know. I forgot to equip the badge that I wanted to use against you, so I'm just gonna run like a coward and get out of here. 100%. Great A mashing. When running from battle, we drop coins. Uh, can definitely get out of hand fast, especially if you uh, ran from every enemy as a kid when you were running through Forever Forest for two hours, thinking that you would eventually come out on the other side. Coming over, and I still miss the action command. Wondrous. I wanted to equip Ice Power. This is plus two damage to any fire enemy and enables contact with them when you would otherwise get hurt. There's not that many fire enemies, sure. This is our first one after all this time, but this just downright hits a home run against anything it affects. Seriously, what other badge gives plus two attack at such a low cost, two badge points? Heck, what other anything gives plus two attack in any circumstance? This thing is amazing. I wanted to add that fire enemies have a weakness against Bombette. She was able to do extra damage there with that explosion, if we so wish. Or we could just finish him off. Nice and easy, easy, easy day. It's fine. It's just such a badge worth celebrating. The fact that it's two badge points and you can just see if there's a fire enemy ahead and if there's not, equip it. Well, that's one way to fix a train track. It's like creating a problem to sell people the solution or something. We could move onward, but we could also move backward. Honey, I got something for ya. Oh my good heavens, that book you have, it looks like a cookbook. I could increase my repertoire in an instant with that book. Mario, if it's okay with you, may I have it? The cookbook is how they say it in Scotland. Oh, I can have it, how delightful. With this cookbook, I can use two kinds of ingredients at once to make even more fabulous dishes for you. Please bring me different ingredients so I can try out some new recipes. I'll go back over to my storage real quick and see if there's anything we could demonstrate that with. I don't want to go around doing every single recipe that we can handle because frankly, it's not needed. We'll do it some other time. Ultra Shroom, busting out the big guns. And with that, we combine with a maple syrup. This is gonna be one of those experimentations that causes a lightning bolt outside. Here you are. This recipe is not too bad. Here, please. Maple Ultra, 50 HP, 10 FP. We could have combined that with a honey syrup and gotten five FP, but this was just really the smarter thing to do. Amazing healing item that is completely wasted on us because a super shroom is still a full heal for us. We'll get to upgrading it someday. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't remember to do this. For a little bit of extra fun, I do believe I have two mysteries on me that we could open up and see what's inside of them. Uh, make with one. I'll use a mystery, period. Experimentation, dizzy dial was what was in there, huh. And then the last one is, I already got two dizzy dials. It'd be pretty improbable to get a third one. I'm just saying, it'd be improbable if you get what I'm saying. Oh, I'm so, a mistake. Well, that was a ripoff. Can't believe I ever loved you. I can't, I can't say that I love you, I love you, I love you. You're so good to us, you're so good to us. Uh, reminds me of my grandmother and the wonderful cooking that she does. I aspire to learn to be as good of a cook as her and just train under her for as long as I can. So we had all of that, and I think for one final thing, we also had the mailbag. 
We failed in our duty. Come rain or sleet or snow or sh snow or shy guys. What are we supposed to- we're supposed to deliver no matter what. Whatever can we do? Federal crimes! Was that the stolen mailbag? Oh, I guess I'm mistaken. He doesn't believe that we could commit federal crimes, but we did so in front of him once already. That's it, that's it. The bag. Thank you, Mario. You never know how many people we have to get mails. We're like a twist villain in a JRPG. Let me give you a small thank you gift. Star piece. And then you should have mail for us. Goombario's got a new letter. Goompa. Dear Goombario, how goes the adventure with Mario? Is it fun? Are you being a brave Goomba? Remember to relish your time in the, out in the wide world. Grow wise from your travels. I wish to the stars that your adventure will prove to be a fruitful one. If you can, drop in on us now, old folks now and again. Goomba misses you terribly. I'm looking forward to seeing you as a grown-up, Goompa. Love how much they believe in him. Sort of like a wish fulfillment that your parents would let you go on an adventure when you were a kid. Bo from the Booze and Gusty Gulch. Here's your booze, dear Lady Bo. Thank you for rescuing us from that horrible tub of blubber on, up on Gusty Gulch. We'd never dreamed we'd meet a boo of your stature. The sight of you alone would have been enough to keep us going, but you went ahead and defeated Double Blubba too. We thought that our friends were done for when they were eaten, but they've all returned. Many thanks. When you're done with your quest, we're throwing you a party. Please come. Oh, and please say hi to everyone at Boo's Mansion. Boo's in Gusty Gulch. Nah, we're all good. We're all caught up on our mail. There's no other key items that we got to deliver that I'm forgetting, are there? Now we're good. Well, two stations down. Next time on Paper Mario, we move forward and possibly clear another station. We'll see. See you guys then.